following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi folks, on this Friday, March the 4th, uh, Basil Chapman, Tiger Technician's Hour, 877-927-6648 is the number to call. Got a series of things I wanted to go through uh, pertaining to questions that I got uh, yesterday and overnight. So let, let's get to this, the first one. Yes, we did go to that leg B. Yes, it was the fifth candle after the low that was made on the 24th of February after the 32,272 low. And... It did not hold, and that's what I said both on my show and to subscribers. The risk reward of getting the low that was made the previous day so that we could get a quick trade and get out on a big pop wasn't there. Didn't want to do it. And of course, none of us knew that there would be a, well, maybe somebody did, but most of us didn't expect that there'd be a, um, it was not just a pullback yesterday. That was that was something that I was a fear, a fearing that there would be a sudden pullback. But um, as far as the uh, uranium is concerned, ay ay ay. Uh, you know, nuclear. We we've got to be careful. Uh, what what's happening now is beyond the standards. I I don't think I heard a single general uh, talking about this a, at all. And um, maybe they did. I just didn't hear it. So what we're looking at here are aspects to the war that's going on that are beyond normality. Of course, no war is normal, but beyond normality, just what Putin can do under the aegis of uh, um, talking about the West and what, how he feels he's being attacked by whatever it is, um, anything can happen. And that's really the point that I wanted to make, that anything can happen. But look at the chart. When you think that the high was made, let me go through the numbers quickly. Dow's down 427 to 33,361. Uh, 36,952 um, was the high back on the 5th of January. When you think here we are exactly a month later, uh, sorry, two months later. So we go January, all of January, all of February, just begun March. And all we've done is gone from, the, let's call it 37,000, down to let's call it 32,000. 5,000 points with everything that's going on. All I can say is that it's been a huge digestive phase. But what can the Fed do now? Because the numbers this morning, jobless, uh, you've got, what was that, 300 Oh, no, 100. Uh, oh, I missed it. 180,000 was it? 300. Sorry, 380,000. That was the number. 380,000. That's a really good number. The the unemployment rate is back to that low, low, low level of 50 years. Technically, under every single circumstance over the last year, I don't see why if business activity was starting to improve, especially over the last six months, and then especially over the last three months. Um, why the Fed couldn't have said normalization would just be at a quarter point whenever we think it's necessary. Bah, big deal. So they do a quarter of a point. The rates are low, low, low. So what, are the, what is the Fed going to do right now? On the one hand, they're kind of obligated. On the other hand, we are on the doorstep. I mean, look at my DBA, not mine, but our DBA, DB Agricultural Fund, at a new recovery high of 2264 it's at 2227 earlier this morning. Um, leg G slash D, I think, <laughs> whatever you think about uh, toppy action, surely you're going to have a bit of a breather here. But that is really important. Look at wheat. Wheat. Now, look, I circle. You You wouldn't look at this. You look and think, oh, green candle in the daily chart. Oh, look, huge green candle in the weekly. Oh, look, look, look. Huge green candle in the monthly G slash C. But wait a minute. Where is wheat? Look, you see that little you see that little line there, the tiny line that says 1209, opens at 1209, has a high of 1209, 
It has a low of 12.09, and it closed. Where do you think it closed? It closed at 12.09. Well, the day is young. It's only open. I wouldn't be surprised if it actually does pull back here after this limit up. Now, look at yesterday's action. So how you can't think that there's going to be inflation that just drives right through uh, the economy, I, that's, that's wrong thinking. We are going to get some kind of inflation. Look at corn. Corn up 35 at 782 and three quarters. Look at this move. I really, I, yesterday I said I'm going to have to call this. Um, I think I typed it in, but I, I lost a little data there. So let me put this in. G slash C. Give me a break. I mean, this is. Now it's parabolic. Remember yesterday I was saying I was saying vertical, vertical, but in a very short term. Now we have to look at this and say, are we looking at this as a, par a parabolic? And as it gets smoothed out, I'm looking at continuous contract. So as it gets smoothed out, look what happens. You remember way back, this was the B, for those of you who always look at my, my notations. This was the B right here. Where is it? It's at about 762. But that was before it got smoothed out. This is not a split or anything. It just gets smoothed out every 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 month. Um, they just take the, the chart pattern. Everything but the price is 100% correct. What is not right is that the price gets changed. And that change uh, obviously expands to the upside when it's going up, expands to the, contracts to the downside when it's going down. So there's the old B. I'm going to just keep it there. I'll make it faint so it doesn't get in the way of all our thinking. Uh, let's just do that. Oh, okay, we've got it. All right, there it is. All right, just keeping it there. That's like when I talk about splits, you remember, I think it was Apple. Was it Apple? Yeah, Apple. Remember, I had this trough A right there, and that was the trough that was in at what we at right now in January of 2019. It is at um, 35.15. What was the split on Apple? Anybody know? Maybe it was 10 for 1, and I don't know who knows what it was, but that's where A was once upon a time. And 142 round number low. Oh, that was 142 round number low, and here it is at 35.50. How would that be? How would that work? Is that five? Anyway, whatever it is, seven to one. Thank you, Larry. I think um, whatever it is, you've got your split. You've got your split, and here we are way above that split only because it is a split. Nothing changed, but the pricing, but the chart, the names, the letters, everything about it. Nothing's changed. All right, so let's go back. So we're talking about the only thing that changed here, uh, not changed, that didn't make the high is soybean. Soybean made a peak E. Once again, continuous contracts, so you'll have something different if you're looking at the futures uh, with a monthly uh, price. But we're looking at this as, uh-oh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, let me just change the mice. There we are, I got the other one, the noisy one. Okay, let's go, there it is. So that was... 17.59 and a quarter, right then. That was on the 24th, I think, yep, 24th of Feb, when the market made its low. This was making a high. And now we've got inside, look, remember, I have a whole webinar. In fact, it's spoken about often in my webinars on rectangles. There's a narrow rectangle that can go a lot longer than your patience. And then there's a wide rectangle that if it holds the initial low after that, that quick spike to the upside and sharp pullback, you can start to make a concerted um, chapter wave PA, PP, a higher PC, and then a D going to just under, just over the previous high. So that means we could go higher with soybeans. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks, we're back. So, yes, it was, I believe it was, I was telling a number of people, both on Tiger YouTube uh, and in the Dan set, it was a four to one split. Um, amazing. All right. Well, all right. So, what we're looking at in the Chapman methodology, the large rectangle that you can draw uh, on a spike to the upside, like a flagpole, pulls back sharply and then holds the low and starts to make higher highs and higher lows, says that there's a chance that soybean, if it takes out, the high that was made yesterday of, this is the, remember, this is the continuous contract, 1699 round number. If it takes it out, and I have to say, it has to take it out by about, in this case, I would say five points and then close above it, says there's a, there's a really good chance that somehow it's going to worm its way at least to the 1728 level. But it could even get, because the rule of thumb is the, 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 the wide rectangle, not the long, narrow rectangle that can drive you nuts. Uh, every time you think it's in a breakout, it pulls back. Every time you think it breaks down, it just, that's not the way to trade it. You've got to trade it with quick moves up and quick moves down and then get out. You'll be wrong at some point because it will break down further or break up further. But the, the rectangle starts to make a lopsided U-shaped pattern. In this case, it'll be a sharp dip. Uh, it's called a quarter. I was looking this up in the uh, so fantastic. I had a bunch of things I'll talk about in a moment. I don't waste time today. Um, but I was looking to see what is the half of a semicircle. And it looks like it's a quarter. I was looking at voting things. And uh, so this says that there could be a move to the right side and by about, uh, I would have to put it, today is the four, fourth. You've got five, six, that's the uh, weekend, seventh comeback. By about Wednesday of next week, if the wheat, uh, sorry, the soybeans have taken out 1714 and have treated uh, 1686 as support, there's a really good chance that by sometime next week, you could get really close in leg C or even D, close to the high that was made right here at 1759 and a quarter on the 24th of, of Feb. And if it takes out 1630 on the downside, you've got your dreaded H pattern says, be careful, because not only could you take out the low that was made at 1579, that's the low of the 25th, but you could go a lot lower. To me right now, <clears throat> with the way we're looking at 
the inflationary aspect of all these grains. Whoa. I don't know. I think soybeans are going to catch up to the others. Even sugar. Look at this. SB. <clears throat> look at that move in sugar. So you went to a peak B, and then you started count again. Remember the Chapman wave? I wanted to show this today. This is your starting point. <clears throat> so uh, every, every trough to the downside, as long as it doesn't take out the left side starting point, means that from that moment on, every peak gets counted. It's just it's a very your obligation in Chapman Wave is just to count each higher peak and each higher low, higher low. I mean lower, lower low. So this is B, A B, gray A and B because it's underneath the previous high. This is still a gray C because it's underneath the previous high. This doesn't go to C from there. This continues the nearest, and I usually put a little plus sign to say, hey, we restarted the wave count because that was the initial low, the buy signal. So this is leg D. So what do we have? We have sugar. This is all part of the DBA. We have the DBA Agricultural Fund. Remember, we're along from the 13s. Whoops. In leg. Look, here it goes. DBA. This is the, the, the fund. It also has a little bit of oil and I think natural gas. Uh, this is a leg G slash D. I can't rule out that this is a D in the daily, weekly E, monthly E. Look at wheat again. At wheat. That hasn't moved. That's still a price point. Uh, leg E, gap up E. Wow, two gaps, almost, yeah, three gaps. We've got a three gap play. I just don't see what, unless all the countries, the Western countries, and in fact, all the countries in the world other than uh, Russia, say, you know what, we're going to push our wheat production. You can't do it in a day. What, over, over the weekend, we're going to push our production up 25%. Uh, are you kidding? You got to buy tractors. You got to—it's a, a huge process. <clears throat> you can increase if you're already doing it, but you can't start fresh, and you can't start taking your own product and then suddenly pushing that level up 20%. You've got to have the grain. So all I'm saying is this: this is extraordinary. It is telling us that inflation, at some point, you will just see an exponential rise. And look at this GIS. I haven't even looked at it for a few days. This is general. Mills Foods, right? Uh, hasn't gone to new all time. Holding quite well. You're looking at, let me get to a couple of others. Uh, what was the one that we were looking at? Kraft, Kraft Heinz, K, uh, KHS? No, I can't remember what it is in the den. I'm sure we, someone will tell me. Uh, what is Kraft Heinz? KHC, thank you. Uh, I knew Jeff would have that. Uh, look at this, uh, Kraft Heinz. Way down at the bottom. Look at that. It made a high of, uh, oh, I had this all notated. I hope it's still notated. Yeah, peak C minus was the low. Oh, that's right. They changed, the, they, they, they got a new symbol. And that was back in 2015. So it goes up to about 98. And then it goes down to a low of 20 on March, uh, March of 2020. And then it runs up to the, the 41 area and is holding. It's having a nice counter trend rally, but Wow, this is not any high. So I'm just saying that the products are going to go, uh, not just, I mean, for anyone. Okay, let me see who that is. That's not for me. Uh, no, I don't think that's for me. All right, so the, as far as I'm concerned, we've got a little problem. And yes, Coca-Cola, this is a very interesting. Look, Coca-Cola <coughs> made a peak G high uh, yesterday. There was this huge gap to the upside. I've only got it as a C in the uh, weekly all-time high of E, but you know that's in a different category. That's probably in a category when everybody's nervous they're probably drinking more Coke. So I don't know about that. All right, let's get back to our story. I haven't finished. Uh, I wanted to show you. So the S and P right now has had some a decent, pretty a, a, a pretty sharp pullback from the the high that was made yesterday at 44.16. We're at 43.02. But it hasn't broken down yet. If the S&P at any point, this is, this is the cash. Maybe I, sh I should just go to the, uh, uh, because it's Sunday night that we're talking about. Let's go to the futures. And I've got the continuous contract here only because that gives me a beautiful monthly chart. Uh, I don't get that in the, in the latest uh, futures, the March. So I'm going to go to that. And that just says, if at any point between Sunday night and Monday, if there is a close below 
And we're at 42.98. We're down 60. We're doing this every day. We're moving 50, 60, 70 points up and down. <clears throat> that dreaded H pattern right here with, with a failure in a very small arch formation says, be real careful because the low that was made on the 24th in the S&P could quickly be tested. One of the reasons why I said to subscribe is we're in this good cash position. We're raising cash. We have short-term trades. Some work, some don't. 41.01, let's say it closed below 4100 anytime next week, says, oh, my goodness. Um, this is starting to, it's really starting to impact the indices in a very, very negative way. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. Let's just do this. I want to look at the QQQ. I can't even remember if I did it before. QQQ is also turning down. 337, a close under 332 says, whoa, be careful. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, oh, I haven't got to a whole bunch of questions. I'll get to them as soon as we return. Be back. Dow is down 100. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So just a real quick, quick question in the den. Just a uh, um, request. I have um, about much faith ops and max pain indicators. You know, over the years, they get, uh, someone comes up and says max pain and all that. I just haven't followed it. I follow other things. I I, I, I make a note of it, but I just off the ha offhand, I don't. My memory doesn't actually recall any percentage that I've ever given it uh, as in my own mind accuracy rating, and that would just be kind of anecdotal. So that I, I absolutely can't talk to that. But the question really pertained to Nike, 
Nike Inc. B shares, bought in sportswear, 131.79 down 218 today. This action in the weekly chart is suggesting very strongly that the low of, uh, that was, I think, June. Let me check. Yeah, uh, June, the week of the 18th of June of 126.68. Uh, that between that area and the 124, 125-ish, 125 124, 125, to me that would be a natural target uh, based on the acceleration down in the daily, but it's really the weekly MACD where the, the histogram hasn't even started. It tried, and this is the beginning of the month, but it had tried to improve. This, this month is actually down at the lows of four, four months ago. This is the vertical 0% line. And that just and it's a flat. Remember, I always say any stock that I'm looking at or that we own that goes to 93, 95% in the stochastic and flattens out, that is fair. Every book that you read about technical analysis says that's called overbought. I say overbought? That's what you want to see. That's like the biggest buy mode uh, sustaining pattern that you could ever find. Uh, and so to me, that that's the clue. Look, even Nike, look, once it broke above the stochastic in the monthly chart, broke above in August of 2020 and was at about 100, it stayed there until it broke down and it broke down right there, December of 2021. What was the high? The high was one month before November and the next month, which was a December. So November makes the high of just under 180. And then you get to turn down stochastic. So to me, this is the exact opposite. We've got a flat stochastic at 9%. Think of it as 91% uh, uh, on the upside. This is 9% on the downside and flat. It says there is no strength there whatsoever. So I think that my target on the short term would be 125, 126 to 124. And we'll have to see how it holds there if it can. And that's also going to be uh, market uh, conditions together with everything else. And look at this double. This is that, that dreaded H pattern right there. Went to a peak D, fourth highest peak. That's where you've got to get kind of cautious. Yellow light flashes in the weekly. Monthly chart made a peak D. Look where it is. I, I That's 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 my target. All right. So I can only answer it in that way. Um, and my thought, uh, Dan says, uh, if 125 breaks, 104 area is possible, but we have to go one step at a time. It's at 131. We've got seven points to go down. It could do that in days. It could actually take uh, three weeks to do it. If it's going to, it could have a balance in between. So I'm just saying I go one level at a time. Absolutely, if that takes is taken out, there's just an, there's a vortex underneath it, and that's Nike. So this is, And this is a great international company. So it's telling us something. I think it's the deliveries. It's, it's a lot of things. And it's probably competition. Next thing I want to look at here, well, let me see, where was it? Yeah, Exxon. Look at this, Exxon. Out of CVX, which is Chevron, Exxon. Exxon was the laggard. But look at this. This Exxon is absolutely fantastic. It's at 82.16. It's up $1.10. But this is what I like to do. These, these double tops, the top that was made at 82 point... Uh, it's 83.08 on the 7th of February. You make the cup formation. And when you get back, you want to see, has the MACD crossed positive? Has it deflected lower? Has the stochastic held above 80%? On balance volume is very good. It's, uh, maybe a tad overboard, but it's still very good. So what happens here is going to be key. But you know that nothing is going to change in the oil market for the better other than words. The words can flow. I'll talk about words in a moment. Um, and I'm expecting that you get to your leg D if Exxon closes any day. I'm even saying one day closes above 85. I think that that low that was made, the high that was made at uh, 83.08, 83 to 82 becomes support. And I think it could even go higher. So this is the key. Whatever happens in the next week, if it sh drops sharply, I, at this point, I don't think 70, I think 78 would be really good support. So I mean, oil is, I said to subscribers yesterday, this is a three letter, this is a three letter word that we're looking at. It's absolutely critical, O-I-L. Now I want to talk about something else. I used to complain like crazy. I, I always thought President Trump had some really good ideas. He was just totally inarticulate when it came to when being interviewed, just in his mind, he should have had summarized, whether it was impeachment, whatever it is, he should have had just 
real facts and just said them as clearly as possible. No finger pointing, no nothing. These are the facts. He was just inarticulate about it. He was articulate about other things, but totally inarticulate when it came to doing the proper thing about publicity, about TV, about being interviewed. If you are a politician, you know about that. You know how to stand in front of a camera and just grab that news every moment you can and try to just nail and stop whatever is being discussed. I'm afraid we're just about to see the same thing with this president. Instead of articulating, here's the issue, I'm holding up my left hand, here's the issue, that's what we're dealing with. He says, here's the issue, but I want you to wear uh, light clothes because if it gets too, too hot, I mean, he's talking about something completely different. Deal with oil. Oil is the issue right now. It's actually too late because when the Russians were at the border, we knew about all these things. We knew that they were going to go in. We knew oil would be an issue. Now the, now the horse is out the barn. I don't know how you catch the horse. And those uh, Ukrainians who are uh, civilians, we're going to stand up and fight. Never held a gun. I haven't even seen a gun for the first hand in my life. I've got a gun. I've got to go shoot people. This is, it's tragic what's going on right now. So my complaint is articulation about the focal point. And the focal point had been oil. It is still oil. And it is something that is dramatic. And we can see at the price of oil, which anybody fill up in the last uh, couple of days. Look at this, 112.93. 112, we were at 85.65 in October of 2018. We plunged to, well, 761. There were a whole bunch of issues there. Uh, that was that crazy where the futures went uh, minus 40 or something. 761, April of 2020. We are now 20 times, well, almost 20 times. We, this, is, this is crazy. I mean, we are above that 85.65 by th almost 30 points. So this is this is your issue. Hey, let's see what natural gas is doing. Let's go to UNG. Oh, question came in. Can you look at UNG? Yes. UNG, this is usually the time of the year when, when, when natural gas is kind of, that's it's done somewhere between uh, the end of last month and somewhere into maybe late March. Usually you start to see some kind of topping action and then it just kind of fizzles for a while. This is uh, this is being dragged up. So I don't know if natural gas is as big an issue right now. There's this huge gap. We don't want to see 18. It's 17.29. It is up 65 cents, up almost 50 percent. But it's only leg D in that big big angle, and you've already got to with D, and that's just maybe it's not going to be like too wrong. I'll be back in a moment. A lot to discuss. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hello, welcome back. Dow's down 463, s and down 64. This is going to be important. So in my uh, one-minute chart, you've got a pattern that says it better hold its 40 42.96, the E-mini, better hold the 42.93, um, 91 area. If it takes it out, then all of a sudden the 10-minute chart, and what I've done now is I've, I'm trying to use some of the passages. You know, here at TFNM, we're all about learning. I think some of us um, uh, listen when we have a chance and opportunity, I call it, to listen to um, the other hosts. We're always learning something. Everybody has their own techniques. So I've gone back to putting in fib, uh, fib retracement levels, et cetera, and I try to identify, if I can, visually uh, Larry's Gartley patterns, et cetera. But I also use my own. Uh, measured move. Remember, measured move from the left side to the right side. If you can use a plumb line, meaning visually it looks like you can start on your way down or up in the same number of bars to get back to that original starting point. And in this case, I'm just going to snap this in right here. There's the midpoint. So we went from uh, the 4260-ish. What was the low there? 42 right there. 4283.50 low at uh, 8... Uh, so that was last night at 10 o'clock. Uh, no, it can't be last night at 10. Well, yeah, last night at 10. That's right. That's right. There was the uh, this this smash to the downside in the 10 minute E-mini chart was when the um, when the oh, there we are when there was a discussion about the fire uh, near the, at the nuclear reactor plant. So what we're looking at here is comes down sharply and then it starts to rally. And then within it, you have your peak A and you pull back, and now you get underneath it, you get gray peak A, gray peak B. When it goes above it, it becomes blue C, D. The MACD is good. It's above the 9 EMA. The stochastic holds for a brief moment over 80%, goes to a D, has kind of a right arm extension to an E, and then it plummets, comes down. And then it goes to each one of these fib levels, holds there for a little while. And then what happens because it's gone negative? Right there at about four in the morning, in the this is the 10 minute chart, the nine goes under the 14. Look what happens. Even that big spike that occurred early this morning at about 8:30 failed. And now it says that based on this left side, right side price time match, if we take out the low that was made at 10:20 this morning of 42.89.50, there could be a sudden plunge, and it has to be within the next two bars, that's two 10-minute uh, bars before my show ends, towards the 40 to 83.50 level. It's done almost, it's almost accomplished everything right now. I don't know if it'll do that. I just wanted to mention, these are the techniques I try to use and I teach, uh, and I, for my subscribers, be looking at them all the time. So now let's go back. So I, I did the gold uh, in the update. Gold is now up 23 at 1969. This is really important because you've got the speed of this rectangle formation, making the cup formation, um, that just says to me that that 1976 high that was made um, on the 24th, 
I, I'm just watching that. The MACD is good. The stochastic is still weak. It's under 70%. On balance volume says it's a tad overbought, but that doesn't mean it, has to say it, it turns down. Nine is way above the 14. This is just so bullish. One of the reasons why we, we have a gold stock and we want to be participating in this gold area is because the mix of our portfolio is with commodities. It's been important to look at these commodities. We've got some of our oldies, but it's the commodities that are really acting well. So I want you to say, that's look at the way that's acting. Look at silver. You remember silver always say, silver lags, lags, lags. And then all of a sudden, it picks up. It looks like it's leading. And as soon as the two go together, um, you get this stall in both the, the silver and the gold. Will it do that right now? Don't you think? In, in geopolitical terms, geoeconomic political terms, that gold is a currency of fear and that it's in play. Talk about a currency of fear. Look at this. The dollar is a currency of respect for the United States in the terms of economic and uh, I always call it the visual, the visual Harley Davidson in the economy uh, and currency world. Uh, it's just global. It's not, okay, it's nothing to do with, uh, with Harley Davidson. It's just Harley around the world. People knew about Harley Davidson just like they know about, used to know about Louis Armstrong. So, um, in this particular instance, this is showing that there's still um, money going to the, 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 in the world of currencies. This is where you're going. And you would think that Bitcoin, as a kind of a, a subterfuge, would be screaming to the upside. It's not in play at all. We had a we had a play in uh, we still got a tiny core position. Um, we had this as this huge move back into the uh, the high that was made back in April of twenty was it twenty twenty one was it April at sixty six thousand three ten pull back sharply then ran up to sixty nine nine fifty. We take we took a whole bunch of good probes. Now we've got a little tiny core, just a tiny little bit. That I want to keep in, and we keep trying to maybe attempt a, a trade this is not working for bitcoin and now if you're looking at uh high grade copper high grade copper is look at this high grade copper is at 4.894 it's up point is up 0.112 if you're looking at high grade copper i this is telling us that world economies might be a little bit better than you would think Based on, on, but no, I think this is a materials. This is a, a um, it's treated as a commodity that could get rarer under these conditions. That's why I think it's working. So high grade copper, uh, we do have a, a long position in a copper stock, but this is acting. It's getting a little toppy for sure, but uh, um, it's in play. There's no question about it. All right, let's look at crude oil again. Crude oil, we're looking at. Uh, makes, makes a high yesterday with all that's going on. It didn't overnight. I thought, wow, let's see copper. It did have a really good rally, but today it hasn't gone to yesterday's continuous contract high of 116.57, but it's in play. And what I said before is CVX was the leader. Uh, Exxon was, was following. Just look at this spiral to the upside. Now, what happens when it spirals to the upside, and it isn't just a news event that says, oh, it's a one-time thing. What happens is the consolidation that takes place turns into a type of flag or rectangle formation, and it has a high level consolidation if it continues in play. And that's why I'm going to put this in here to say the one, uh, 148 area under terrible conditions for oil, that is, could see the CVX pull back. But I'd say that I, I think it's going to have a high level consolidation unless internationally there's this thing that says, we're going to open the spigots and we're going to push crude oil and we're going to see that uh, Putin is beaten back financially. And I don't know why, when you think of those 40 miles of um, m military vehicles, I kept saying to myself, I know it's a dream, but surely somebody should have just, you know, those movies that you see where you've got the line of whatever it is and you've got the plane that comes in with the strafing all those vehicles in a single line. What more could you want? Nobody did that. Nobody blew up one of the roads to say, OK, you want to get across, you're going to have to go all the way back, use up your, your gasoline. What happens when these guys run out of gasoline? I don't know. This is a really complex thing. Let's just have a look at that hundred, that 10 minute chart. Where are we? Yeah, we're kind of coming down. We've come a little bit lower. Well, that's the pattern that we were looking at. And it looks like a staple. Doesn't this look like an inverted staple? I think it looks like an inverted staple. Look. Um, 
I, I would call it the staple pattern, but that has too many other implications. All right, the Dow is now down 500. Hey, yeah. S&P is down 69. Not a good day. I'll be back in a moment for the final segment. Oh, I still got those questions I haven't dealt with. We'll deal with them in our region. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, so just as we go, we're wrapping up and we're going to have a, a weekend and see what happens over there. Do you think anybody's going to really buy a huge amount of, to go over the weekend with uncertainty? I don't think so. But there could be a balance, but I can only choose this about. Look at the euro. Look at this Eiffel Tower straight up, straight down uh, in the monthly chart. Uh, it's trading at uh, down 0.014. Uh, 1.09193. I can't stand those numbers. And look at this plunge to the downside here. And the MACD says it's not it's not over. And the stochastic and MACD in the weekly chart says there's actually a little bit more room to the downside in the euro at this particular point. So that makes that low that was made back in uh, March of 2020 at 1.063. I I'm not going there. Just one step at a time. Let's see how 1.08 can hold. Uh, let's see there. And now a couple of things. So the questions come in. Let me just quickly have a look here. Uh, um, yeah. So Basil, that snap that you were talking about yesterday, uh, 28 days, it looks like it was 27 days. It is way over the 24.32 low of the 3rd of February. So it has accomplished what you had discussed, uh, discussed in terms of this particular Chapman Wave volume price climax reversal can go for 28 days. If it all successfully in that period, it can go for 56. You can double it. Uh, this one says it didn't even get to a C. 
And then you went to a peak B. You got to be really careful in this particular area. Next question was, oh, where was it? Um, um, yes. So thank you, uh, Tom E, uh, for that, uh, for those levels that you, you mentioned. Um, I'm, I'll be checking them out. I appreciate that. I will be in touch at some point. Just been a real busy time. So uh, you remember, we were looking at DSX the other day. We were looking at some of the shippers, how Diana's shipping. So the shippers had a great move to the upside. Now they're kind of stalling. And I think one of the they're stalling is that there are so many uh, issues going on that we might see some of those, those bulk ships uh, being going from certain areas to the wheat, to the uh, soybeans, to the corn, and to oil. Let's see if there's a change. NAT would be one we'd look at. Uh, Nordic American tank.